Today, let's talk about public speaking and how you can overcome stage fright. A lot of people have asked me questions. How do you overcome stage fright? How do you speak confidently in public? So today we are going to address how you can overcome uh, stage fright. Maybe you are on stage and you're shivering, you're shaking. How do you overcome that? So there are a lot of techniques that you can use to overcome stage fright. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. I am your public speaking and communication skills coach, and I'm here to take you through one or two things that can help you to overcome stage fright. If you are new to this, if you are uh, watching this for the first time, I just want to thank you for that, and also urge you to share this, to send me a comment, to reach out to me through the WhatsApp number, and we get to take our conversation to the next chapter. So the question still remains, how do I overcome? stage fright. So there are a lot of techniques that can help you to overcome stage fright. It's not one technique. There are more than a thousand techniques that you can employ to overcome stage fright. Number one is that you can employ the act of asking questions on stage. So let's go through this scenario. You're on stage and you feel like you have some nervous breakdown. Nervousness, you're shaking profusely, you're sweating, things are not going on well, and you feel like you even holding the mic is shaking your hand. If you have the composure, you can ask questions to your audience, and the moment they start to answer those questions, you will find your confidence back. So, for example, a classical example, you go on stage and th you feel like things are not right, you don't even know how to start, then you start with asking a question. And the question simple is, what do you want after my presentation? So you ask the audience questions. What do you expect after my presentation? Then you give the mic around. So you say two or three people should tell you what they expect after their presentation. So some people will say, oh, I want to learn how to speak in public. Somebody will say, I want to learn leadership. Somebody will say, I want to learn A, B, C, D. And the moment they start to speak, you will find your confidence back. And that's one way that you can overcome your nerves on stage. The second way is deep breathing. So maybe you are in a moment, you don't even know. You can't even ask questions. Learn to deep breathe. Deep breathing will not simply mean that you go on stage and you are... <laughs> no. Learn to disassociate yourself from the mic, move a little, and make sure you get in a lot of air in your system. You get it out. <laughs> without the audience knowing. So when you learn to breathe in and breathe out, it takes some air out. So the inertia, the force that you have, it brings it out and you are able to stay confident. The third way to overcome your stage fright is the confident pose. Stand on stage of the power pose. Stand and let people know that this is me. Chest out, shoulders up, and you stand of confidence, and that's the power pose. It can help you in moments that you feel like you are feeling uneasiness, your self-confidence is down, the power pose can help you on stage so that you gain your confidence back. There are a lot of things that you can do on stage. One is also to do icebreakers. So you know icebreakers help people, uh, help your audience to participate in whatever you want to do. So icebreakers can also help you once you're on stage, so you just do, maybe you let them clap or you say something and repeat that. And sometimes I do it. I say, repeat after me. I, they say, I, I believe and I believe. I can do it, I can do it. They will say, okay, I am a billionaire. They will say, I am a billionaire. You see, everybody will shout, I am a billionaire or a millionaire. Then you see that you're getting their attention. And that gives you the confidence to do what you want to do on stage. So... The last one I would like to talk about, there are a lot of them. There are thousands and thousands of ways that you can actually get your audience engaged and overcome stage fright. But the last one I want to touch on is, is that just be real. Don't be afraid. Be confident and know that you can do it. Others have done it on stage. You can do it. So once you find yourself telling yourself that it's, you can't do it, start to affirm you to yourself. Start to speak words of possibility, uh, positivity into your own system. Simple words, I can do it. This is under control. I'm the best. 
I'm going to create opportunities. I am powerful. And then once you start to say positive things, affirm to yourself, you are going to get yourself back. I believe in you. And I believe that these strategies, some of them can help you when you find yourself wanting on stage and your self-confidence is low. So if you are new to this, please, why don't you share this, like this, ask me questions, and I'll do videos for you specifically to help you overcome your fear in speaking in public. And if you also want public speaking coaching for you or your team or group, just reach out to me. There's a number and also email in the comment section that you can reach out to me for us to train your team. We do at the comfort of your organization. We come there and we train your staff. We come there, we train your team to speak in public. You need this. And that's why we are here, the Public Speaking Factory. We are here to do that for you. Thank you very much. Let's talk. Let's keep chatting. I believe in you. See you in my next video.